today, since we're going to do multiple today, because everyone likes to everyone schedule their playoff matches right now, which is incredible. It's the first of the season as well, I believe. Yeah, this is actually the first of the season. I have not been active, as I guess <laughs> most of you have known. But I am back to do one last fucking hurrah. Remember, guys, stole that film on IRC. Go join it. Support fucking Aimless Arrow. What a nerd. Anyway, so this this is it, Tico. This is the match that I think top match of the playoffs. What are your thoughts, man? Yeah. Well, I mean, we're starting off like at the top, really, aren't we? I mean, the the rest of the matches are going to be cool, but like this one seems to be like the one everyone seems to be waiting for. Um. SN versus Arrows, you know, two German teams, or, you know, mostly German, you know, traditionally quite German at least. Um, I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be a good match. Um, I think it's going to be closer than a lot of people think. Um, I'm unsure of a lot of the decisions Arrows have made this season, um, and SN seem to be just, you know, it, it, SN are impossible to tell uh, just because they don't really try that hard during the season. Um, so it, it's, I think it's all up in the air right now. What about you? What do you think? Dude, let's just talk, let's talk about Arrows strictly right now. I mean, Arrows, they've kept Vodka, Freeman obviously an integral part of the team, Racky also coming back, but remember, they have players that aren't playing from their usual self, like Pudi, for example, has not been active this season. Same with, um, Kenix, who was in last year's playoff lineup. You know, these For players sure. aren't active, and they've brought in new players to kind of compensate, like Colt, MTK. I think it'll, it'll, it'll bring a lot to the Arrows squad that people are kind of very, very unexpected. Yeah. Colt adds a lot to the lineup. Um, I do think Colt is a little Deadpool. underrated sometimes, but incredibly overrated at sometimes too. What I mean by that is that he, he goes like he's a very, very good rusher. I think he's one of today's top rushing, rushing kind of players. Just because, I mean, <laughs> he's kind of unkillable sometimes. You can't, you can't sure. just go in. You can't just go in and kill them. And I think that's that's what's incredibly different about their arrows line. They have a new dynamic. To them. They have this rushing player that can totally change the game. Baka, sure, sure. of course, always a dynamic DM player. You can't stop. Like he's incredible DM. I think. With cool one of the best. One of the best. One of the definitely one of the best teamers in the game. MTK also adding a lot to the lineup. Kind of he's kind of been on a, I haven't seen him on a big clan, so I think this is his first chance to really kind of fucking shine. And I'm I'm really sure. expecting I mean, maybe it's just because I'm underwriting him or something, but I just I don't see him as like like quite at the top yet. Like I feel like Arrow, you know, they've come close to winning. I think they did win the season, didn't they? Um, yeah. Or they might. We were in the finals or something. Um, and I just, I just, I don't see what MTK brings um, personally. Um, but you know, I'm looking at the stats now, and DOTD, you know, he's been in God knows how many uh, playoffs with arrows. Uh, he's played one match this season. Um, Wolfskin hasn't been around at all. No. Neither has Overkill. Kinix has played four games this season. Colt has only played eleven games with them. Which is another thing that might sort of put them off. Yeah, like, may, they might not have had enough time to adapt. I, I think the the main lineup will mainly be Raggedy, uh, Vodka, and Freeman. It, that's yeah, a really no, stable agree. lineup. Each each team kind of has a. Uh, they they it's their most stable. They have the most experience together. They've sure. gone through the time, and I think uh, and I think it'll change a lot. And the stats reflect that as well, like, they've all played over 50 matches together. Um, yeah, exactly. Which is, you know, the brunt of their season. So, uh, yeah, like, I'd be surprised if the, their lineup was anything different. They might pick odd maps, and maybe that's when, like, MTK and Colt come in. Uh, but I think I agree, yeah. So we'll see. Now, let's talk about SN. SN, a, t a team that has been through almost every situation. They've been a fucking staple of the community for a very, very long time. Bernie, of course, one of the best players, I think, to ever play the game. Um, one of the best rushers. You know, as Prediction Nerd said, he fucking just, he comes out of nowhere, man. Like, he's one of the best rushers, I think, Absolutely. in the game. 
Um, and he just turn so small, on any time. Like, you see these players, and you know they they train and train, and they get good at like pra- like practiced and rehearsed situations. I think Bernardino is just one of those players who really thinks on the fly. He's very sort of improvisational. He he just does things that no one else really does in the game. You know. Oh yeah, definitely. Now, SN gone through a lot of changes in Maxi, Wiz, both playoff staples, leaving the clan. Um, and I think that that's what's incredibly kind of weird about the situation. Yeah, like those two were like, those two and Bernie were like their big lineup, weren't they? Like, I think most of their playoffs were played with those three, or like two of them, and then like maybe a third, if Ziga would pop in or something. But for the majority, it was just like with Maxi Burn. Uh, not having that, it's been, I'm, I'm interested to see how it's going to work out. Uh, I mean, Danak has been playing fucking Danak from fucking the fucking start of Solda, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I don't know, like, looking at stats, I mean, 32 wins, 31 losses. Oh, yeah, definitely. Just barely over 50% win. I mean, obviously, SN, we all know SN don't really try that hard during, you know, the pre-play season. They just get enough to get in, and then they try hard during playoffs. Uh, playoffs. Um, so they're volatile. Like, I don't know how it's going to work out. Now, talking about SN, Tanaka, kind of, he's the one that I think will change. I mean, we, we saw last season how Tanaka came in and he just it was first uh, first LF, if I remember the math. And he kind of, he screwed up. And I, and I think that kind of it, it kind of changes the player a little bit because it's how can you recover from something just such a big mistake like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that was, it, was, it was just, it, it literally cost them the match. And I, I really hope that he brings some really flair to this. And it looks like we're about to start. The lineup oh, uh, for this game out is um, <laughs> Triumph, Freeman, uh, Vodka, and Racket against Yimis, Bernie, and Tanaka. This is how professional I am. I'm not even in the server yet. I don't even know. Oh, dude. Don't worry, I got you covered. <laughs> Blue flag already. It's the first of the season, man. Give me a chance. <laughs> <laughs> first cap already going arrows way. Arrows being very, very coordinated at the start. I don't. It's gonna be, I think, really difficult for SN to get kind of any points on this map. Um, but Rackety doing some courageous defending. I like it. He's doing very, very well. Freeman going for another flag. Doesn't look like Arrows can. I mean, SN can defend. That's already 2 0. Looks like this, this map's kind of a warm up. Yeah, I mean, Triumph is one of those oddball picks that you expect, I guess. Yeah, th- th- um, this map is, is definitely going to be hard for SN to come back from. Um, but it's a good thing, you know, they get themselves sorted for the next map. We'll see how it goes. 2 0 right now. Tsnaka is actually going top first vodka. Again, very hard for Tsnaka, I think, to do anything. Vodka, just such a great, def- just a great DMer. I mean, he already just killed. Tanaka twice. Freeman already yeah. getting the flag. This is going to be a third cap for Arrows. It, the, what really needs to happen is the the, uh, the bottom players for SN really need to create. Bernie and, and Yumi's really need to, to get something done on the bottom. Yeah, I think the onus is a lot on Bernie to just get the flag and get out. Um, like, Yumi's, I mean, he's good, um, but I don't think he's got that rush capability that Bernie has, and, like, the consistency especially. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Racking yeah, in the gay watch. spot, trying to hide, trying to create something not working out too well. Uh, SN going too top, I guess. Yeah, looks like Bernie's trying to switch around, trying to create something up top and see what he does. Unfortunately. Oh, you At least they do get flag. Flag. Yeah, yeah, but he is going to get lit down and he is going to be killed by Rackety. Very good defense by Rackety. Yeah. I mean, it 
it was kind of bad positioning on Yumi's part as well. I think when you've got the flag, you have to just sort of get out. I yeah, think he's going to try and throw it top. I don't know, Yumi's getting the flag. And oh, Freeman cleaning up for the clutch kill. It's definitely something that. Alright, here come the famous arrows pauses. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> but anyway, let's that. catch up. We haven't we haven't really talked about this. So Tanaka top versus versus well, uh, Baka. Very very hard matchup for for definitely um, for, for Tanaka. Anyone, really, I can't think of anyone in like maybe like Da in his golden days might have stood a chance. Oh yeah, definitely. But uh, it, it like, really has to come through bottom. Yumi's has gotten the flag a few times. Unfortunately, they things just haven't gone SN's way. Um, yeah. But th this this gets SN back up on their feet. You know, this pause really gets them to kind of regroup and kind of go in and they, they to get something, at least something on this map, a, a few yeah. goals, to even just to solidify that, hey, we're here to stay, you know, we're, no, we're, we want to get into this yeah. map. Sure. I mean, right now it's like 30, I mean, kills, the kills actually quite matter on this map, but it's not about numbers, it's more about when they happen. And I think Arrows are doing a very good job of, like, getting them at the right time. Uh, but they are also just sort of dominating, like, 32-23. It's, it's, it's not looking good. Oh, uh, no. But we, everyone's trusting Bernie. Bernie has, has got to do more on this map. I mean, he already has top kills for his team, but I think he just needs to concentrate on killing. Let Yumi's get the flag. I, I'm sure. kind of worried about um, Arrow's choice of weapons. I mean, SN's choice of uh, weapons on this map. You know, a uh, what's his name? Spaz really, really creates a lop on this map. You see Freeman using the weapon, and then a uh, Rackety using the stair. And I think that that kind of changes a lot because with this map you can get up close and personal. And this is where the Spaz kind of really, really shines. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hoping, you know, after the pause, either Yumi's or Bernie switches to a Spaz, just to kind of it. it, it you, you just can create a lot. You can get in and out with the spaz, get the flag, and all right, you're already halfway across the map before they respawn. No, I completely agree. Um, like, I'm also just trying to think about like the weapon changes. Like, 166 is a very new version, um, but I don't think spaz has altered that much. Um, so I still agree, but I think AK as well like has quite a lot of dominance just because its push has been increased. So oh, yeah. now it's even it's even harder. Like when you're shooting down tunnels, like you know, say say from top in this map to the tunnel below where people come out of, oh, um, like you get pushed back quite a lot. It's really like difficult to get out of a situation where both players are to. actually using the AK Tanaka yeah. and and so it just kind of goes. I mean, before it used to be all all Mimi top that kind of thing. <laughs> and even though if you weren't oh oh here comes lineup change for arrows. MTK looking. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I thought we were about to start, but Barca with the, the lag, uh, the lag fucking pauses. I like it. Who just, someone just went on pause as soon as he got in. Yeah. Alright, so MTK coming in to replace Rackety. I don't think it'll change too much. Racky's out. So Yumi's actually grabbing the spaz, so I didn't see his weapon. My screen isn't big yeah. enough. <laughs> Bernie just wrecking. Um, well, Tanaka's coming low now. It looks like they switch. No, they're just going for a three-person rush low. Yeah, they're trying to create something. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to work. NTK getting the flag. NTK with a nice knife on Tanaka. And he actually gets another kill, but the flag's dropping. Oh, he won't get it. <laughs> yeah, that was so awkward. The flag gets, gets returned to... NTK's still alive. Wow. None of SN members decided to kill Mark Tanaka rushing with the spaz, trying to create something. But not gonna happen. Arrows has two mid right now. Nice law by Bernie taking out Freeman. Oh, and MTK just taken a mini me and just spraying low. That is whatever. Yeah, he's Although playing Rackety's role right now, which is kind yeah, of getting, sure. getting the kills, letting Freeman get the flag and kind of do a multi. The, the, the thing is with Freeman is he, defi he does a. Uh, a spaz law combo, which really kind of yeah, works yeah. kind of well. But oh, Yumi's nice defense on Freeman. MTK's coming in. He's trying to cause some trouble, but it's not really working. Vodka's out to clean up. Very nice. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm they're sure sending that. none top to contest Baka right now. They're all just, they're, they're, they just totally switched to strat. They're both going yeah, all yeah. lower right now. I think they just conceded the fact that they can't really get in. But I don't know if it's going to work. MTK, MTK got getting out. the flag. He is kind of weak. weak. He, might, yeah, he might die. And Freeman getting the flag, and that is going to be another cap. So 5 0, 4 arrows on this map. Um, I, I can safely assume 5 minutes, 26 seconds. The comeback is coming from SN needs to happen now. Yeah, yeah. You can't make any more mistakes. It's not actually getting in the enemy base, uh, creating some trouble. Probably going to die here. Oh, go grabs the health kit. Yep, going to die to MTK. Nice knife by Freeman taking out Yumi's. But Bernie gonna grab the flag, he is on limited Ooh, health though. Throwing the flag. Ooh. Oh, to knock it! Oh, to give me. Can you get that? Uh, nope. Uh, MTK not dying, but it was a return anyway. That was, they had that covered, so it doesn't matter. Yep. Actually, nice to fly past the Freeman. Arrow is very unselfish on, on this map, and I think all their maps. They really just want to win, <laughs> don't care about the stats or anything like that. Trick kind on of a playoff plan. Looks yeah. like Freeman's trying to hold the flag to throw it top, but nope. Oh. He sees that Vaka's not going to come. The uh, flag standoff, and oh! Bernie saving the day. Oh, the end to the night by MTK taking out Bernie. Blue flag oh, still loose the in the base. Strap. Yep, here comes Freeman, not executing the minigun strap perfectly, but he gets the cap. <laughs> Got All that event, matters please. in the end. It's Naka. Killing both mids, trying to create something around the red flag. Yeah. Actually, gets the flag, but should have just tossed it out. Shout out to Vodka's stats, by the way, at 37 11. Yeah, Vodka absolutely just slaying everyone on this map, doing really well. His DM is just kind of impeccable. Yeah, he's unbelievable. No, Freeman not grabbing the flag. I don't think he realized it. I mean, again. Can, can mm. doing his best. Like he's like doing like being a real nuisance low. Oh, he, but... he's just absolutely just trying to create for this team. He's he's doing exactly what his uh his strong suits are, which is kind of just rushing and trying yeah, to create like really that. Bad, like there was a period of about a minute where he just kept killing people on their way low. So I mean, we were talking before about like SN just sort of maybe using this as sort of like practice. And it feels like they're starting to get into their flow a bit. Oh yeah, the score hasn't changed for, for a while. Yeah, it was like 4-0 for a while, like, they've, I think they've had two caps since Rakuti left. Not sure, but yeah. Oh, Bernie. So, MTK getting a flag, and looks like this is going to be another cap for Arrows, because Freeman's back defending. Raw shot, not quite connecting with MTK. I think that's end. This is a concession, maybe. They're just sort of goofing around. Yeah, kind of goofing around, you know, getting their getting their aim back. I haven't seen SN spamming for CWs before the match, so actually, no, that is a lie. I lied, actually. Never mind. <laughs> you're you're a liar. I okay. am a liar. It's so dirty, dirty liar. <laughs> trying to be like, trying to be all fucking esports and shit, and he's just lying, to, lying to the viewers. I am lying to the viewers. <laughs> he, he's trying, trying to get out, man. Just get, get do it. Flag to the drop low, gonna be returned. MTK trying to grab the flag. He's stopping it immediately. Yeah. Freeman grabbing another flag. Bernie cleaning up Freeman. Very well. And, all right, it's not gonna. It actually might be a chance for SN, no. I thought they were more back to defend, but not the case. Freeman gonna grab the flag. He is really lit. Spray by Bernie is gonna bring him down. Good, good play. And the red flag is bouncing around mid. It's Naka, all you. Oh, no, not gonna create. Arrow is just not letting up at all. They're, they're playing really well. Just getting in there. Actually not giving Sen even a chance for a cap. It's kind of not be the shutout. But 60 seconds left. Obviously, yeah. this is going to be it for all. 
or uh, SN. Freeman. Trying desperately to get the 10 out, but. Talking about uh, Baka's KDA. Ridiculous. 59, 14. I think yeah. this is not the greatest top performance. I think uh, Tanaka, actually not Tanaka, Jimmy takes it. But it's still really good performance by Arrows on this map. Baka absolutely sure. going nuts with, the, uh, <laughs> with that AK. Just slaying everyone. No, oh, yeah, for sure. Shows just how powerful the AK is in the new version. Like, oh yeah. If, if people weren't sure about it, like, yeah, it, it's pretty crazy. But I mean, the poker himself is just pretty crazy. So it's like, I mean, he's he's leaving for. Wow. Oh, it's Poland. Yeah, we'll see what happens. It's like Colt. MTK and Rackety gonna be in um, Roland. I actually I like this map for for arrows. Actually, Colt a very very good Volan player. Um, he's really dynamic. He likes three. I mean, 316 ping. I don't know how the fuck yeah. you can play at that level, but he's gonna lag a lot, and I, and I think that's gonna create a lot of chances. I I don't think he's going top. I think Rackety will go top. Um, but we'll see when the map comes. Um, so it looks like SN going to use the same lineup as Tanaka giving his burning. Yeah. Definitely think uh, it's I'm the right Yimmy lineup. Is going to top. Oh no, Yimmy's is going top. Alright, MTK going top for. So this is kind of the battle to see uh, what happens. Oh, MTK taking out Yimmy. In the base, but getting the flag, gets Nade, gets Easy the health, shit. and gets out. Wow. It's uh, getting Bernie coming. looks like he got that, yeah. Yeah. But Colt, oh, Colt. Colt coming in with the knife. Getting Bernie. I feel kind of bad for and they shouldn't have got that really. But, sold it, sold it. Playing this One game for like arrows. 10 years hasn't changed at all. Yeah. It's expected by now. It'd be, it'd be silly of us to sort of complain about people eating, especially people like MTK. Uh, I mean, 1 0 in this map. I mean, this map is sort of fairly easy to defend, but also not. It could, with, like, it could, yeah, it could really change in the instant. Like the M79 strat top. Which both players are actually using, which yeah. I, I find that kind of, it's kind of cool. Nice. Kind of old school. Yeah, I mean, but, yeah. B before, I think the meta yeah, kind of changed kinda a little cool. bit. Doing what? Oh, nice. Yeah, Colt doing what Colt does. Well, MTK there with a the follow up. Yeah, just grabbing Maximum the flag, and then boosting out. And, oh, did not cap the flag. <laughs> but it's gonna be a cap now. So 2 0 for arrows. I really hope SN recovers because if they don't, it's gonna be arrows map on the third map. I do not think that they, they'll be able to come back. And wow, Colt using an old, old taunt. The problem wow. taunt. What a nerd. Kind of makes me angry when people do that in playoff matches. I just, I just don't think it, there's any need for it. It's oh, yeah, just like, it's, it's just a pure ego thing. Uh, you mean to come in top flat with the flag. Yeah, get, the gets the flat, fails the M79 boost. MTK got raped by <laughs> by Vodka. That's definitely true. On that rush, on that rush, Gimmies is king. Oh, eats a M79 shot by Gimmies, but gets killed off anyway. And Gimmies coming again, top. Uh, yeah, let's see if he can create anything. Oh, using changing there the with M79. That's not good for Gimmies. Nope. And MTK lit, lit, really lit, coming into the base, just trying to get a kill. But not gonna happen. Racky actually getting a nice, nice on Tanaka, but <laughs> once it goes on Tanaka's knees, maybe not the best decision. <laughs> so now we're kind of sitting at a stalemate. Bernie trying to create something mid. 
But it actually uh, goes, goes back down. Past. And it looks like arrows are in a better position to defend this. Saying that, two in the base. Nice knife there by Rakiti to stop that. And the cult cleans up. MTK is top of the flag. Well, Kanaka's got it mid. Cult's chasing fast. He's going to get the kill. And the return. 3 1 to arrows. Yep. And Colt getting another flag. And gets killed. The flag is not dropping. Uh, it's going to be returned by SM. To Crescendo's quarters. I really like the, the Ruger on this map, um, actually, but you have to connect all your shots. Yeah, which you need someone like Dinak. Which is not really doing. I get MTK is going to try and escape and get to eat. Bernie actually getting the flag. Missing the M79 shot, he has to survive, but does not. Colt going to return that. that and oh. No, flag not return. Okay. Right, could he could it go back and turn the flag and cast? <laughs> so 4-1-4. Four, Arrows on this map. Rackety getting the flag off, oh, almost dying to me, but doesn't quite. Flag gonna be loose low in the base. Nothing really happening. Besides the fact that Yumi is just, you know, getting the flag and getting yeah. out mid. It is in the Gets the health too, so it is gonna be loose low. Did they see that MTK? <laughs> they did, okay. Yeah, Bernie with the. I'm not sure if that law was necessary, but he got the kill anyway. 4 2. He does get the boost away as well from the flag. Yeah. Rackety's going to chase it. Oh, but he gets both. Oh, if, if SM were in a bad position, I think someone could have picked that up, but uh, sadly, I think they were preoccupied in base. Yeah, it just kind of resets. It's not going to come in trying to create some. Oh, the law almost connecting with Rackety on the way down, but not quite. Bernie just trying to get some damage onto Colt. And Colt killing both of them, looks like? Well, he's gonna try yeah. to get the flag here. And, yep. Get some knife on Bernie, though. Nice shot by Colt. Clean up by SN, though. So it's gonna be a reset. Yumi's going top again with the M79 versus MTK. Yumi's eating <laughs> M79 shot by MTK, but doesn't matter because Yumi's killed him anyway. Yumi's still top in the base, trying to create something. Yeah, um, both players actually top. staying behind by arrows. So Rackety doing like, a nice job trying to help. Yeah, I think top on this like a lot of the strength is like people who are like if you saw there like two of arrows were stuck in base where Yumi's like waiting for him to try and attack. Uh, that's a really good position for SN to be in. Like, and I think like you see a lot of the good top players just wait top and hold as many people as they can. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening again. Like, MTK can't do anything, and like, yep. there's Rackety, like, the he has to stay there. Rackety, yeah, Rackety has to come back for it, and- Oh! Yumi's with the kill! MTK's gonna try and boost, I guess. Uh, he's gonna Ruger it, but Yumi's got the nice boost, and that's 4-3. 4-3, you see the comeback, but MTK having the advantage top again. Liking return low, and the knife battle! Oh, who will win? MTK getting the kill, and oh, nice Ruger. Actually, that wasn't a Ruger. Actually, it was a Ruger, yeah. It That's was a Ruger, getting Naka. the kill. Um, okay. I'm not sure what happened there, but Rackety did stop that. Yumi's coming top fast again. MTK's gonna grab the flag from the pit. He throws it to Cole. It's a good throw, but Yumi's has got it top. And Rackety outside. Yumi's waiting the M79 in just a direct shot. Looks like it's gonna be a flag standoff unless SN can create something here. Doesn't look like it is just Bernie, but Bernie is Bernie. Yeah. But who knows? That was a really unnecessary law shot, but hey man, it it, it's inspiring it's fear. It's the sting law inspires fear. <laughs> Firing it. Maybe if I would ricochet or something. <laughs> so Colt coming in from the roof into the base, killing Tanaka. No, he knew he was going to spawn. Bernie is the there roof. protecting Yumi's. And Tanaka gets it on the spot. But Rackety actually weak. This is going to be a return. This and is going to be a cap for, our, for SN. Wow. 
some um, four, four. smart positioning from Yumi, uh, keeping the flag away, um, aware, maybe it was good communication, I don't know, like just being aware of Colt being top. Oh, that was so close. Is Yumi's going to go for that? He's so low. Racketeer's top with a, a, a mini me. Just a few shots will kill him. Racketeer has got the flag and he eats. Oh man. Racketeer's going to escape and get some health. With MTTK support, that's going to be a cap for arrows. Yeah, definitely. SN cannot defend this. Oh, <laughs> Naka trying some fancy moves. Not gonna work out though. Brackety just coming up with the kill. Brackety again rushing bottom getting the kill, but Colt getting the flag. Getting out it looks like. But Bernie that's coming a, in from roof, but cap, they, yeah. they know he's they know he's there. And this is gonna be a cat for arrows. Bernie yeah, it can't looks like six balls, and there's one minute left on the clock as well. Bernie might be able to create something now. Eats the knife from uh, <laughs> Rackety. He's so weak. Yeah, but they're not. Other players are back defending him. Oh, but Bernie getting the kill off Rackety. Wow, Rackety too overconfident. <sighs> almost. Uh, Tanaka almost got away with that. Uh, but Bernie's already back in the base. <laughs> oh, he's been shut down. It looks like this is probably Arrow's map, I think. Like 30 seconds. The SN need to get something on this rush. Uh, Yumi's is switching top as well, it's going to slow him down, he's going to get the boost, MTK's coming back from the top, they're just going to all up defend this, and, oh, what a nice boost, and, no, cannot, nothing. yeah, Bernie can't MTK's get away, MTK's going to go into the base, just to be sure, and that's it, GG, 6-5, really close map from SN, but couldn't bring it back, that was a map they really needed to win too, for sure, because now, Vodka coming back in. Rackety on the bench. Freeman coming back in. Looks like it's gonna be NTK, Freeman, and uh, Vodka for the next map. Unsure about SN as of right now. I think Tanaka has to go huge on this map. I'm gonna bring Absolutely. SN back. Do you know what the map is? I have no idea. Oh, I, w I wasn't looking. Oh, Horm oh. Oh, the, the classic. Arrows, hormone. I haven't seen this for a while. But historically, man, SN have come back on this map. Huge Didn't they, like, they like? We should have like a positive like win loss ratio on this map against arrows, but they also had with a maxi. Oh yeah, definitely. And Dimia, of course, coming in providing the huge plays. MTK oh, yeah. looking like gonna be the fly carrier. Four arrows on his back. One second. They have to talk about strategy. And Bernie looking like being the fly carrier for SN. That's not surprising. Um, he's going with M7 airstrikes as well. Yeah, both fly well. carriers going for the M7 airstrikes. But both SN players getting killed off really, really early. No, it's gonna be. Is that a car? Nope. Doesn't no, look MTK like it. still slow. Yeah, he should have he came in a little bit earlier. He was there, he was in position, but he just... I don't know. Zanak, doing a smart thing, trying to just get the flag out of reach. It's not gonna get a... Go in and pick it up. SN on the defensive a little bit. Actually, Arrow's on the defensive a little bit too. Haven't moved out. Oh, that so, yeah. gotcha. Have not hit. Freeman is just being a monster. Yeah, this is Freeman's map. <laughs> Not with the fucking Ruger Sokum. MTK with a nice boost trying to come in and just sneak that cap, but not gonna work out. Bernie dying to uh Vodka. But it responds again and oh cannot create anything. Arrow is definitely having the kill advantage on this map, oh, but sure. doesn't really matter because SN are still kind of staying with them a little bit. And uh, Bernie's gonna come to holy. That would have been a nice uh, boost. But I mean, 
I, th I think Arrow's just like, I think their position, like Freeman and um, Vodka are just, they're doing some monstrous work and I just think it's not really been working out for them. Yeah, they're I don't know. I think absolutely just killing everything. Yeah. SNR like, really aren't kill. They're, they're, they're not killing their killers, which is the kind of an issue on this map. Yeah, absolutely. Everyone um, has to has to create. But this actually, Bernie in cap position, but no one there to return the flag. Yeah, that I think is going like, to be returned. MTK is sort of boosting, and but he's not doing it like he's he's doing it with like, and he's only got like twenty five percent HP left. Whereas like. Uh, Bernie's like managing to get out with like 17 and it's like enough to survive that, you know, getting in, into that little all code. And also, he's getting a kill while doing it too, which is... Exactly. Yeah, Bernie trying to create... <laughs> As Rocky says, lol, because he just went across the screen at 99 miles per hour. Yeah, but sure. Vodka killing everything, getting the kill on... Oh, this a this, triple like this a actually cap. might be a cap. Can't find a fight, but they did do actually I mean, find it. They got it like that. Yeah. Yeah. SN. They need to. They need to man up now. They really need to start putting some pressure. I mean. Oh the no. Oh like, no. The that that cap. Did you see that? How fast yeah. MTK was? Wow. Really, really good cap by MTK. And you're proud of it. <laughs> Bernie talking. <laughs> Too laggy. Both flies kind of being loose in the base. But NTK already in position to cap. Base could get killed by an aid by Bernie and return. So we start off with a standoff again. Vodka trying to create it's not good. <laughs> Doing the jukes, juking them out, but died. Freeman actually getting the flag, and that's gonna be returned again. MTK with the with the flag. The helmet is such a, like an awkward map to commentate on. I think. It's like oh, it's it's way too fast, and arrows yeah. with another cap. Yeah, it's it's, like, it's, nothing it's, happens it's, for a long time, and then suddenly it all happens at once. Yeah, that's it the way. I, like, that's that's actually why arrows are really good on this map. They have a lot of freaking, they have a lot of, you know, teamwork. They've played together. This is experience for them. You yeah, know, with, Bernie with it without Maxine Wiz isn't the same Bernie. I think anyone who can recognize that, you know. Is and yeah, now arrows are just getting cap after cap. SN are they're, they're falling apart. Yeah, definitely. It's kind of sad to see. I mean, they would they were put off by a lot of what happened um, in regards to sold up being sold up. Um, also, yeah, Vo Volan was a tough tough map to for them to lose. I mean, it was their map. And they picked it, and it's kind of lose on your own map is is just it's not the best thing in the world. Absolutely. But Bernie trying to trying to create something top, dying to actually yep, definitely dies. But oh, it comes fast MTK, but cannot create any nice Ruger shot by Tanaka. Yeah, Bernie kind of just rushing in there now. He he needs to kind of wait for his teammates to catch up. You know, yeah. play, play in the middle, play a little, do a little fancy footwork. He's just kind of getting desperate, I think. I mean. Yeah, this map such a hard it's frustrating as well. Yeah, it's just such a hard map to come back on, especially against Arrow, one of the best I think clans on this map. Bernie trying to create something. Oh, they knew where he was coming from. Baka with a nice nade, getting that kill. MTK again with the knife trying to create. Oh. Oh wow! Ooh. That's unbelievable. Just flew past everyone. Getting that cap. Really good job, by NTK. Even though you know, sold that. What can you say? Sold it. Arrows. 
They're, they're kings to soul that, man. <laughs> they are. They've somehow managed to just... Yeah, I'm, not, I'm just not. Um, I mean, 5-0, I think... How much time's left? Three minutes. Three minutes. Yeah. Uh, I think it's over. So yeah, late. it's definitely over, but... Kind of... It, they need to kind of get get their footwork. Ah, oh, Bernie. Oh, Bernie. Bernie I feel in a tough spot. I really do, like... I, I was completely unbiased coming to this map, like, uh, into these, this match even, like, I like both clans. I just feel really bad for us and, like, a lot of sold out being sold out and how frustrating that is. But, I mean, I guess in playoffs you, you kind of need to come in with that mentality of, like, it's going to happen anyway. And so I'll maybe oh, let yeah. get to them. I, I and think any playoff, anyone who's been in playoffs enough times can, can tell you sold out being sold out. It just it just kind of happened. I mean, arrows. I would definitely say outplayed SN to a large extent. They had the DM advantage on every map that they played. They had the, the DM advantage, even when it looked to be like a kind of a, a victory for for SN regarding their map. Yeah, they kind of came in almost a cap for SN. Now. I really would like to see that, but unfortunately, not gonna happen. Yeah, like, Bernie's sort of, just, he's not even, like, boosting right now, he's sort of just, like, staying back. I, well, he, th this is what I think he should have been doing at the beginning. Kind of stopping MTK, because MTK is just, every time they kind of get in the vicinity, MTK is just kind of boosting away. Yeah. And I think if, if you stop that boost, you create create an automatic advantage for your team. Yeah, I mean, especially like when he MTK hasn't been like doing a very good job of it either. Like, I've been watching and he's just sort of like been really bloody every time he's sort of coming towards the area. Like I mentioned it before, but he's yeah, just but not getting like optimum boosts. So yeah, but Freeman and I mean, look at the kill score. Freeman, Voltec both doing work. You know, it's not good. Did you just say Voltec? Aren't really. <laughs> oh, Voltec. Wow. R.I.P. Voltec. I miss you, kid. Um, hope your surgery goes well. Anyway, but um, Freeman and Baka just kind of slaying everything. Knocking, knocking, just can't keep up at all. Yeah, like, it generally tends to be like whoever gets the kill advantage on this map just has more, like, naturally, as a result of that, just has more opportunities at flag. Um, and like, just seeing the KD, KD is like, yeah, you can see how SN sort of came to be in a bad position. Looks like it is going to be 6-0 for arrows on this map. Unfortunately, this is going to end SN kind of first round exit. I mean, I, I guess most people predicted it, but still, same, just kind of shame to see an old clan like SN yeah. come in and just get dominated in three maps. I mean... Oh, yeah, Constellation Cap. 6-1. Not bad. 6-1. GG. Good game. So that that's it for this map. Um, MTK is going to be fucking insufferable. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that was... That was not what I expected, I guess. I, I was hoping that it would be closer. But SN and Arrows getting the first pick on their map... Um, allowed them to pick two maps out I sound more comfortable with, um, which was a huge, huge. Um, Yo, I can I can commentate some matches now.